Hey everyone, it's Jane. So I'm filming um, in a different location other than my kitchen or the barn because my kitchen is being, well, my living room is being preoccupied. So thus, I'm not in my kitchen because there's noise. Um, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a first impressions video. Um, I'm not actually going anywhere, so I'm putting on makeup for the sake of this video. But that's okay, right? So I'm going to, I have some new stuff to try that I have gotten over the last couple of days. Um, most of it today from Sephora and one thing from CVS. Um, I think I have everything here. Yeah. So I have all my stuff right here. My mirror is here. So I'm sorry if I'm looking over here more than here because stuff isn't really even where um, out on my other little station it usually is. And you can all say hi to Cinder. Little Cinder Melon is here. He's snuggling with me. He's all wet because he um, just had flea prevention stuff put on him and because I'm not sure if he's 12 weeks old yet I had to get a kind that's for kittens that you just spray on and so he's kind of miserable because he was all wet. But anyways, we're going to hop right into it and get started. So I'm going to start with my L'Oreal True Match um, Healthy Luminous Makeup. So this is my foundation um, in the color N12 Soft Ivory. I've had this for a long time. Um, when I wear foundation, I will wear this or I will mix it with my BB cream. And I'm just going to pop some of this on. Since I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to wear this by itself. And not bother using my BB cream with it. And I basically put it on with this. Um, this is just an Eco Tools like stippling brush, and I just blend it in. So that was one pump for basically one side of my face. Blend it down my neck. Grab another pump. Do the other side. And my forehead. This I've used before, obviously. I do want to try the um, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy foundation. Alright, there we go. Alright, so next I am going to go in with my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is just a new one I just picked up today um, in the color Vanilla. And I always get these little sample ones because they're $12 and I don't always want to spend, what, $26 or whatever a NARS um, concealer is. I don't always want to spend that much on a concealer. So this does it for me. I'm just going to pop that under my eye just in like four little dots. Like that. And then I just blend it in with my finger. Hi, Melon. Okay, so just blend in my concealer with my finger. And the next product I'm going to use is actually new to me. Um, this is the Makeup Academy Under Eye Illuminator. Um, this doesn't didn't come in a color. It just came in the shade that it's in. Um, it is in like a little tube. It looks like a squirt tube. Um, this is a first impressions as in the first time I've used it, but this isn't a first impressions as in the container because I did look at it and I've swatched it. Um, but it comes in like a little black um, tube. The tube is squishy. And then it has like a brush applicator. Um, a lot of the product comes off onto the little brush. So, and the product is kind of just a yellowy tone. It's pretty light. It's actually basically the same tone as the concealer. So I'm going to put that under my eyes. Um, and this says on it that you can use it where on any part of your face to add a little bit of a glow. Um, but I'm just going to use it under my eyes today. So, the NARS concealer adds a bit of a glow to begin with, but if you can see, it kind of adds like a 
dewiness under my eye, like kind of a healthy glow. Um, so that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I am going to have to set it though because the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer usually creases on me a little bit. Um, so I am going to set it with the um, CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder in Classic Ivory. This is the normal to dry skin, I think, right? Or just normal skin. Um, and it's in Classic Ivory, so it's just a kind of white, <laughs> white, basically white powder because I'm quite fair. So I just put this on a big, huge Real Techniques powder brush and just dust it into my eyes. Yeah, my under eye still looks pretty bright. Um, I could get, if I wanted to, I could get the NARS concealer in the lighter shade, but I like my under eye to look pretty natural, just basically like the rest of my face, except a little bit brighter. Um, so I don't, I don't like to get a super light concealer. Um, so next I'm going to go in with a matte blush. This is from MAC. It is Breath of Plum and I'm using a matte blush because I am going to try a highlighter. <laughs> Cinder's just watching me down here. So I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. Such a pretty color. I got this um, on my honeymoon last December. gorgeous. Alright, and then I'm just going to grab my powder brush and kind of blend a little bit. <sighs> Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. So, hopefully that is good. Alright, so we're going to go in now. I'm so excited about this. With the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. And this is in the color Aura. It's so pretty. I just got this today. We went on a date and we got to go to Sephora. And I was going between the Narcissist um, Dual Intensity Cheek Palette. Which is $60. And I was like, uh, it's beautiful but it's just too much money. And I don't wear makeup enough to justify that. Um, so this was I think 20 something. Um, I have swatched it. But it is beautiful. Here's the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. I love the packaging. Alright. So it doesn't have a mirror though. That I'm kind of bummed about that. It doesn't have a mirror. Um, but I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush, right? Setting brush. Just a little brush here. And I'm going to pop this on my cheeks. It's so pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a lot. Wow. That's like a unicorn just came over and licked me. Oh wow. That's beautiful. That was probably a little too much. I need to get like a fan brush. Oh, do you see that? Oh, that's so pretty. I just wanted like a different color highlight because I have Becca Moonstone. And that's about the only highlight that I have. So, wow. Look at that. All right. So next, um, I had a 100 point perk. Well, I had a few, I have like, I had 700 points or something, and I used 200 of them. <laughs> but, um, I got the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I'm a little bit afraid. I haven't even opened this yet, um, but I did need another mascara, so I'm kind of glad this was in there. So I'm going to curl my lashes. zoomed in too much. How much did I zoom you in? Oh no, that should be good. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to use my mirror from my cover oil powder. Whoa. Do you see this brush? Holy smokes. That's huge. That must be why it's called huge. Steal a huge. The brush is like as big as a package. All right. Here we go. Oh, that highlighter is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 
to Wendy. I never try to steal a mascara. I have a hard time getting it to my outer lashes. Oh, it's getting a little clumpy. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Um, but there is one side done, just the top lashes. I think that's that's pretty significant. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm not gonna do any more just because I don't. Now I'll do the other side. Ooh, my eyelashes curled weird. Um, it's kind of hard to put on. The brush is really big. Um, I'm gonna just go with this much for now, but the brush is really big. Um, definitely has a huge brush. My lashes, I feel like if I had gone for too much longer, they would have gotten clumpy, so didn't want to do that. Um, the last thing I'm going to try for this first impression video, fix my hair. What am I doing with my hair? Look how long my hair is getting everyone. Mm. All right. So the last thing I'm going to apply is the, um, Too Faced melted matte liquefied matte longwear lipstick in the color sell out. And you know, I was searching on this searching and searching to see what the name was. And I was like, I can't figure it out. I, it, it, it doesn't say on the box. It's called sellout. It says on the bottom. All right, so it's this beautiful, like, brownie peachy nude um, in the color sellout. So I haven't tried any of these yet, so I'm really excited. I'll give a little swatch on the hand for you. There's a the color on my hand. It's really, really pretty. All right. And we're going to have to use my little CoverGirl thing again. So it has just like a nice doe foot applicator. Ooh. Oh, it will be nice if it stays this color. A lot of the time, um, it's already on my teeth. Liquid lipsticks darken as they dry. Cinder. No, no, Cinder. All right, that is really pretty. I really like that color. It's like a, that is right up my alley. Like that is a nice color. It's um, it's like a pinky nudie brown um, with a little, I would say there's a little bit of peach. Keeps getting on my teeth. <laughs> um, I would say there's a little bit of peach. Um, I really like it though. I think it's pretty. So it has like a kind of dryish texture, um, kind of a velvety texture, but it's drying down like right away. Um, it was really smooth to put on. Like, as you can see, it didn't really tug any or anything on my lips and it's drying down. Um, so good so far, so far, so good. I don't know if I'll be able to check in before the end of the night. Um, I would like to, so maybe what I'll do is kind of sit in front of my, stand in front of my lamp and, and show you guys, because I don't have any lights, um, but I would like to check in before the end of the night and let you guys know how everything is doing. Um, let's see, what time is it? So it's kind of late. It is 4.30 and John loves me. Um, let me zoom you guys back out. So this is the finished look for today, the finished first impressions. I love this highlight. I tried it on um, my hand in the store and I think that the pan had hard pan from so many people trying it. Um, so I was like, not going to get it. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it. And if it's this hard and chalky, then I'll return it. But it is not. It is so soft and so beautiful and it looks like, oh my, I can't get over this. It's so gorgeous. So I really like it. I, I like um, everything except maybe the mascara. The mascara was a little bit fiddly um, and I think if I had applied any more it would have been really clumpy and I don't like that look. Um, and then the lip color, yeah the lip color I like. The under eye illuminator I think is kind of showing through a little bit more now. Um, so I like that too. I like everything. Everything's cool. 
So yeah, I will probably try to check in at the end of the night. I, if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, leave video requests down below. I have a horse related video that either has been uploaded already or will be uploaded, uploaded soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye guys!